Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here, and I am so happy to finally be casting a 2v2 series after a short delay. But anyway, what do we got here? We got Troid and Siberian as two Soviet players versus uh, Mahdi115 and Dextrous. We got ourselves a uh, battle on Belgorod, so yeah, should be pretty interesting to say the least. Anyway, um, any alerts, stuff like that will be postponed toward the end. Thank you for kindly watching this game and these awesome players. Uh, and hopefully you all enjoy. Now the Soviets, starting off with, you know, your basic conscript build. But Siberian knows and is intercepting communications from the Germans. So he knows what they're building. So he most likely is um, aware of the situation for him and his teammate to correspond with and make sure that they are in the know of, let's say, in this situation where there's two Volks and a Stir. That may not seem like a big deal, but again, that would typically kind of push away any... Oh, wait, there's no Ponsvoselir, so he didn't go X or Y. Again, small little things. Meanwhile, we got ourselves Dexter's picking a Doctrine, which is Overwatch. Please give me some Goliath play, but it's most likely for the Jaeger Light Infantry squads, which we might see a little down the road. Again, Grenadiers are also on the table right now with a MG and Pioneer. But again, hopefully Siberian knows this and relays this to his team. But it looks like it doesn't matter if you know if you can't win the game. And unfortunately, Dextrous is pushing back Siberian pretty effectively. Troid is trying to do his best with his one Engineer Squad. Fun fact, Engineer Squad, probably not going to fight all that and win. Just, just point that one out. Down south, though, he's having some issues of his own. Uh, MG is currently suppressing his conscript squad, which is unfortunate as he was in green cover, but he's trying to get away. And as you can see here, he's outside the MG range, so he should be in a better predicament. Meanwhile, conscripts are hiding, uh, not hiding, well, definitely moving back and capturing the munition point. Meanwhile, we have additional Grand Ears. Three conscripts are now in the vicinity, but there's one MG that can pretty much guard a good chunk of it. Not all of it, though. Conscripts going to move around. No Molotovs as of yet, but a good flank could neutralize this MG's advantage in holding back large groups of infantry. And as you can see, he's waiting here. Conscripts are down here. But again, he has his Grand Ears on standby. He's waiting with the conscripts as he knows the Grand Ears can easily hold them back. MG can hold back the other squad. Engineer Squad does get a decap and cuts off this southern territory. But meanwhile, up north, looks like better odds with Siberian. Dextrous and Mati are doing their best, but it looks like Dextrous might be having some difficulties up north. That's not uh, necessarily against him. That's just overwhelming amounts of conscripts. Sure, they beat back uh, two infantry, but more came in and thoroughly pushed them back. Especially with now with a flamethrower unit, which can easily force them from cover. Meanwhile, conscripts are now have to deal with a... Oh, my God. G good grenade. Uh, hit their own building. Uh, well, at least uh, you fell back. Down south, again, a decent hold right now with Troid's forces trying to make his way around Monty's defenses. And looks like that might be happening with Siberian teaming up with him to kind of form up and try to go maybe for the cutoff or try at least trying to go for additional resources. Yeah, and he's definitely going for the cutoff right there. MG repositioning. But again, he still has the guy in the south. And the guy in the south is going to move up. And right now, there's really not much. All Grand Ears are currently pushing in against the Conscripts. Which is currently leaving the door open for a Conscript to go around the MG. And stop him dead in his tracks. Beautiful. Grand Ear Squad gets pushed back by the Flamethrower unit. Right now, we got ourselves a good hold over here. Conscripts and everything are trying to do what they can. Again, Volk Squads and... Uh, other forces are doing their best to hold this position, but they, they seem to be doing pretty well. I love how they're also just, like, making sure this building used to their advantage by, again, the flamethrower inside. Although he's very low on health, we'll probably need to pull that back. Again, looks like the flank was a success. The MG had to get pushed back. Additional great ears are on the field. And I would say Troy and Siberian easily push back the Germans in this opening salvo in the first five minutes of the game, which is, of course, very important because the more map control you get early on, the, uh, the quicker you get armor. 
Now, both players are getting right now the support weapon Campania, as we can see. So, with that being unlocked, we could get MGs, other support equipment. But right now, they both have, I believe, decent-sized armies of conscripts and engineers to support. So, overall, looking very, very strong. Plus, we look here, and Troy picked Len Lease. And that may be like, well, Grayshaw, what's the big deal? It's just Len Lease. Well, if he wants to just kind of not worry about support weapon Campania, yep, and go straight in, he can just hop, uh, deploy a Dushka. Get, get himself one. Now he did go this, but also he can get himself an AT, but still. Dushka, pretty damn good. And good suppressing large groups. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Siberian, uh, as much as I want to say that Conscript could fight off three Grenadier squads and MG, probably not. I will say they are weaker, so it's going to be a little bit more interesting for that assault to go against the Soviets, which I believe now have medics. Oh, they don't have medics. Okay. Oh, I see here. Siberian has medics. So, Troy's going to kind of borrow his medics and use them for his advantage. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Conscripts are now moving on in down uh, to fight off the Grandiers. Again, the Grandiers are lower in health. So, that does help him a little bit. That, that provides a little bit of support in the area. Because, again, if low health, all right, well, that full health troops, I can fight that off a bit more than, well, full health Grandiers. But now these Grandiers have G43s, thanks to Jaeger Infantry Doctrine. So, that's the thing. You get uh, some good rifles. The camouflage, though, is the big thing. Because engaging enemies when they don't know you're present, super useful. At least in my opinion. But we'll see how this goes. More conscripts coming on in. MG holding off some of the troops up north. Grandiers forcing them back. Uh, we do have some additional troops down south that could move up. But Pioneers are also there to kind of, maybe not hold them back, but provide some support. Uh, Pack 40 is about to come on up from Monty. Dexterous as well, getting Rakenwerfer with two of these Jaeger Light Infantry uh, Recon Squads. Now, the thing about this is, again, they are getting ADT because it's seven minutes in the game in a competitive match. And the enemy has had, oh, I don't know, a good hand on all, all major resources on the map. So, yep, T-70's on the field, ladies and gentlemen. This bad boy... Ooh, nice skin. Uh, this bad boy will absolutely just start decking on the Germans if they didn't have that AT. They need something there in order to hold the enemy back. Um, because, again, if you... Especially in a competitive mode, if you engage and you're just like, Oh, yes, this is a good idea. Let's just, you know, focus on infantry and just, you know, hopefully they... Hope they don't go armor. Yeah, it's not going to go well. The... A, a very good player can use a T-70 very, very effect, uh, effectively. And both Soviet players are going T-70s. Not just one. Both Soviet players are. So this is a key example of just like, uh, you're going to have to do a lot of armor very quickly. Now, luckily, I believe a pack shot is about to fire down range. It will. Forcing the T-70 back, which is very, very good. Again, uh, very effectively pushes the enemy back and stops him in his tracks. Alright, down south, we have Conscripts pushing back Grandier Squad. Very low on health. He's going to run back to base. But it looks like he'll make it there just in time. MG as well, covering his uh, escape. And yeah, both squads. He tried to Ura. Good job, Troy. Again, trying to get out of that suppression zone. Because one squad, very close to another. If one squad's being suppressed, both will be suppressed. Very, very good. T-70 moving on in to push back the Storm Pioneer Squad. Volk Squad's now in harm's way. Cadmorfer is in mid. Pack 40s in the south. There's no protection up north. Those Volk squads are as good as dead. VP wise, again, good lead on Troy and Siberian for as well keeping the lead ahead. Hanzer Faust likely, but again, you have very limited munitions. I don't think it's worth it. Also, we still we got some Soviet mines, so it looks like in the meantime, Siberian and Troy have laid down some defenses. Very, very cool. Oh, Rakenwerfer has moved up, but T70 keeping a bit of a distance. Great shot from the Rakenwerfer on the T70, push, pushing the enemy back. Grandiers coming on in from the south. Gonna try to do they, their best. Pump, uh, good rifle grenade. Hold on, can we get a kill? First kill of the game, and no, actually, the conscripts will live. T70 as well coming on up north. Uh, not really too much. Or Cadmore had to be pushed, uh, pulled back because of the other T70 and infantry. So now we have additional Grandiers coming in from the south. And now Panzer Oh, wait, I'm sorry, not Panzer Grandiers, sorry. The Jaeger Command Squad is now on the field. 
They really like their Jaeger Light Infantry, but w whatever the case may be, it's very good long range and really good for picking off units with their G43 rifles. I get it. The question is, can they hold back the T70s? That's the big thing right now, because that's what's keeping them at bay. We're keeping the game in Siberian Troids. Uh, well, right now, clutches, because they currently have uh, one VP. They have the south one. The north one might go to the Sturms, but we'll see. Great mine on the Volk Squad right there. More mines being placed. Again, Conscripts pushing forward. Pack guns decrewed. Again, this is kind of important because the T-70s can now move in unopposed in the south. Sure, you have to worry about, of course, uh, Panzer Faust or something like that. But, oh, looky here. Huh. Man, it would it would be great if this squad had a, a Faust or something. It would, it would be incredible. But Cadwoofer comes on in, hits the T-70, forcing it to reposition itself. Conscript, so, gonna take a nice pack. God, gotta love that German then lease. Gotta love it. Soviets really appreciate it. Anyway, so that will help them against any major German armor in the near future. But is that even likely? Let's double check. So right now, the Germans have upgraded to... Oh, they have not even upgraded the Balfays 2. So yeah, uh, most likely it's going to be another, what, five minutes before you see armor from the Germans at this rate because of fuel consumption. Or, sorry, fuel uh, production, not consumption. Panzer headquarters being made, and while we will have the ability to stop a um, arm, uh, armor, light armor and infantry because it has the you know option to upgrade with the uh, amount of fuel that he has on the field. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really get any armor. Like I said, it's going to be another like probably four or five minutes before that even happens. That gives four or five minutes unopposed by the T-70. And heck, now the Soviets have a counter to that armor when it comes out. Not great at all. Again, got to hand it out. We're for firing again, pushing back the T-70. You're really looking for a mistake, a, a, a trap, if you, if I may, to really either knock out that armor or neutralize the infantry. Because both, oppo uh, both opponents, uh, Monty and Dexus, are currently facing, have them... In an unfortunate pickle. Now, good news on their part. They were able to grab another VP. If only for a short period of time. Which stopped the hemorrhaging. Now, push down south looks like is coming on in with a Dushka. Again, very, very cool. Additional conscript squads. I think Troy might have lost one. I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he lost one conscript squad. So, I missed that somewhere. But, again, that's a good kill right there. Absolutely. I don't know if anyone else has lost a squad. It doesn't... Okay, something suspicious, uh, suspicious with Monty. So, again, the Pack 40. But I mean, like, frontline infantry. That probably is the case, I'm going to assume. Anyway, squad gets pushed back with the Panzer Grenadier. Pioneer's holding the point, but way too much firepower. He's going to need to pull back. Meanwhile, in mid. I'm surprised we're not seeing a mortar. But anyway, uh, we have a bunch of infantry just trying to hold the line. Conscripts and a flamethrower squad. Gotta love it. Moving on in. And again, with the ability to reinforce the flamethrower squad with, uh, with the conscript near it, it's why people love putting them toe and, uh, right next to each other. Anyway, we got ourselves a T-70 coming in from the south. Trying to knock out that MG. Very low on health. Looks like he will be able to make it back to base. Meanwhile, T-70 hitting the Jaeger Light Infantry squad. And yeah, definitely also push back. Uh, Rekamwoofer, by the way, was in the middle of the map. And right now, we're looking at Mati, and he has no AT on the field at all. Kind of important. Kind of important to have AT. So, it looks like it's going to be a, a containment right now with both Siberian and Troy keeping them in their base to the point where they're only getting 10 fuel per turn. That's no way, no way to fuel your armor for upcoming battles. It's going to take a while to do that if, if you keep that income. So, something needs to change. But again, uh, in the meantime, we do have mines being placed by Siberian. So something to watch out for there. Yes. The other thing as well to kind of keep in mind is as they get closer to Monty and Dexter's, ba Dexter's base, it is a higher likelihood that they could fail or mess up or something along those lines. Because you're so close to the enemy base, they can come back in such a big force that you they, they could essentially be neutralized um, or pick off a unit real quick. So... It's always that risk-reward, but again, I think in this situation, it's definitely worth it for Troy and Siberian to do so. They have the armor, they have the advantage in infantry, at least from what I can see. So, we'll see what happens. Dushka as well firing on the Panzer Grenadier squad, trying to do what he can. But again, it's just one of those things where it's like, alright, well... 
we'll see how this goes. The enemy is gaining a foothold. We are down Maybe a, a teller mine or something, but I just don't think they had the munitions really set that. I'm seeing more, absolutely more Soviet mines. Pioneer Squad trying to move, but quickly being pushed back. Oh no, he's going to run right into it, isn't he? Oh man. Oswin's on the field. Oh, that's a minute. Oh, you know what? I was thinking of Panzer IV. Oswin would be, yeah, right about on time because they said 11 minutes, about 5 minutes later. So, yeah, Oswin's about 25 uh, fuel cheaper. It's a good infantry unit and against a T-70, its flat gun is pretty potent, so not a bad idea. The problem is right now, well, it, it, the mechanized armor company is easy for Troy to get. It's Iberian has it. He has, uh, but again, he's getting a T-34-85 on the field. So he still needs a form of AT. Monty's only delayed himself like 30 seconds, if that. So something needs to be done sooner rather than later. But again, good job forcing itself against the infantry. Trying to for uh, force it back to base. Pack gun, though, is set up and ready to fire. I love it. Pack gun ready to set up and fire against the Oswin. Sure, why not? Conscript's trying to go on in. Oswin backing up as fast as possible. Trying to make sure that he can do what he can to support his infantry. Now, again, the enemy infantry is upgrading. There, you can see seven-man squads provided by Siberian across the board. So he's in a good position. So far, Troy has not done the same thing, though. He has gotten a decent amount of support equipment in the meantime. Big push coming in by Monty. Again, it's cast to hold and contend against the Dushka, T-70, and Pack. I don't think they have the fighting force to really contend. And again, good flamethrower from the side with conscripts just diving into it. Mine right there as well. It's being at least detected. This unit's very low on health. My god. Alright, at least it gets out of there. Barely, I might add. And yeah, not the most effective push. But at the very least, they have mid. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get from Monty and Dextrous. They need some support. Anyway, T-34, 85, moving on in. Focusing on the infantry, trying to do what it can. Gets a good shot on target. We got a Faust, but he doesn't care. He's just running it over. Again, usually you Faust after a hit. So that way you can knock out engine. But uh, one T-34 just literally ran him all over. And it, it was great. It, it was perfect. And just absolutely just wrecked the German middle guard. So, again, really good job there. Now, Rakadwerfer is on standby, guarding mid. So they have some more AT against this thing. So, again, Dextrous is in a good position. And now Monty, I think, is too. He finally got another pack. He has something to fight the armor, which is what is needed. Katusha is now being brought on the field. I can kind of see why. They keep pushing the units back to base, so maybe a Katusha hit at, inside the base would be what he wants to do. That would be my guess, is he wants to target that with a Katusha barrage, neutralize it. That way, he can maybe pick off a unit or two while they're reinforcing. Makes, it makes good sense to me. Army composition-wise, both are looking seriously good. Siberian did lose his T-70, most likely to the double rack. But still, Troy's still looking pretty good with his D70 and also now Katusha. He has a good amount of anti-infantry support. So, very cool to see. Let's see. Mati is getting closer to getting armor. Dextrous does have a Panzer IV, so he has something. The problem is right now is as much as uh, this Panzer IV is better than the other Panzer IV, it is still uh, weaker than this T-3045. Like, it's, it's still down a bit. Something needs to be done. Um, but luckily, if you bring in the Rakan Warfers, and again, if the T-3045 is being as um, aggressive as it is, then Monty and Dexter's might have a shot at neutralizing it. But again, they're going to need to do a quick succession. And this Panzer IV might be about to launch that assault to neutralize it. We shall see. He's gearing up. There's only a flamethrower unit in the area. Double Rakan Warfers are moving into position. They'll fire. One shot does connect. Second shot did it manage to fire. Grandier and oh wait, we have a, a light artillery barrage coming in. It, he's not moving it, and both units are now on top of each other. Good, very good hit on the engineers. Also, yeah, this gun is very low. Grandiers might be able to pick it off. Also, I love how light artillery barrage actually holding back the conscripts. Really, I mean like. I know this is decently expensive, 100 munitions for it, and some people say it's not worth it. Although, I think it's good for sport equipment. That was a lot of units hit. Oh, Oswin! Unintentionally up close and personal with a Katusha. Panzer Grindier is down south, coming up. Where is he hitting? The MG? Alright, first barrage. MG's fine. 
Second barrage. MG's less fine. <laughs> Let, just a little bit. Oh, now the tree is getting into the action. And comes down, trying to hold back the Oswin, trying to keep himself down. But alas, not able to. Pakun, though, rightfully guarding the Oswin to try to guard its armor. Panzer IV as well being developed. Are we... Wait, hold on. Siberian is that... We're seeing a T-70. Looks like it got Faust in hit with a, a Rakan with first shot, but managed to get out of there. Air supports up north. Driving back, I'm assuming, the AT guns. We now have two packs, by the way. So they have a good amount of AT. Dexter Samani coming back. I mean, population-wise, it's still neck and neck. Again, not a lot of MGs for Siberian. Uh, but he's just mostly relying on those conscripts. And they have... Well, let's see. Hold on. They have single digits mostly, but like upper si single digits. For Camelfers coming on in, if, again, very close to the mine. Very lucky. Again, don't place your armor on mines. <laughs> it it doesn't go well. For Camelfers moving north, and they're trying to get a, a target on that T-34. But he's moving up to try to hit that... Uh, infantry again to stop the cap because again they're putting so much pressure luckily your counters are in a good position able to fire missed target though and he only takes really one shot another t-34 is now on the field making Siberian even a larger threat no is2 though no is2 grenadiers being hit by the t-70 be uh, forcing the grenadier squad back again fight uh, rifle grenade Great hit! Four models down with that rifle grenade, forcing the opponent back. Good Faust and pack combo again. Um, again, T70 can Faust in the engine damage, but still good combo right there. Uh, I don't think they're gonna move up. Dushka is in place to hold back infantry, and yeah, he's gonna fall back. Panzer IV is up north, and again, there's a lot of infantry in support. Katusha trying to hit something. Oh, the MG and the Jagerlight Infantry Squad got pushed back. Pack gun's okay for now. Uh, he's moving down south for coverage. T-34 being made, so lots of T-34s. Meanwhile, we have a... Yep. One of the T-3045s got... Uh, pull, uh, had to pull back. Hold on, Rakan for very low on, on health. I love the this artillery brush coming in late. Uh, come on, baby. Vet 3 lives. Holy mackerel. He's, he's very lucky. But Dexterous does manage to get that unit out. The other one is fine as well. Now, that, again, you have to worry about a, a T grenade on that Panzer IV because you don't want a T 34 rush on it while your AT support is away. But it looks like overall things are looking pretty good. Um, for both, I mean, like both sides have come back. Um, again, I was worried that the Allied lead would have dominated Monty and Dexters, but they're doing pretty well. They still have good armor force all, and infantry force, all things considered. Um, Again, Oswin's still alive. Again, can shoot down the Sturmovic strike, which Siberia can bring in. Panzer IVs on the field. Now, I will say, they need to combine the Panzer IVs and AT to neutralize this armor in a quick succession. Because if all this armor kind of groups up in one place, I don't think the German armor could beat them. But combined with the AT support, they got a good shot. They just need to make sure the infantry doesn't get in, like, close to that, uh, all those pack guns they have lying about. Plus, Dexter's now has Duka, uh, uh, sorry, Sector Assault, so a lot of planes can come in, provide anti-infantry and armor uh, strafes against the enemy. Oswin trying to conscript. We have a artillery brush on the Ziskun. He's going to need to move it. Armor is moving in. Air support's inbound, like I mentioned. Oswin is still pulling back. Pack gun probably would be good if... Oh, he doesn't have the munitions for it. If, so you, if you keep it in one position, the airstrikes can do a lot toward it. Oh, it goes through the artillery barrage. Armor from the south is coming on up. I, uh, Ziska, though, is lying in wait for him. I don't think this is going to go well. Oh, great shot with the pack gun. Other Panzer IV moving on in, trying to deal with that Ziska. T-34 engaging. Again, they're trying to neutralize this because that way the Panzer IV can't escape. It looks like he might be able to. The other Panzer IV, very low on health. Sturmovic has been called in as well. Air support still hitting the other T-3045. Panzer IV now being attacked by the T-70? What is this? What? This is the ballsiest T-70. Come on, baby. One pen. No! Be, I was hoping for a pen. T-70 does not take out the target. But T-34, 85, one left. It is pushing in the north. And both Panzer IVs are very low. If only he knew. Because, again, well, I would dive that. That's worth it. But... 
Will he escape? That's the question. Looks like he's very low on health, but he should be able to. Yeah. A lot of dead armor right now. Let's look at the casualties. We have the T-70 down and a T-34 for Troid. I think he lost one of his Dushkas as well. Siberian. Uh, four conscripts. He's looking pretty good. Either that or Siberian took his Dushka. Maybe. That could be a possibility. Because, uh, again, I don't see how else he would have gotten this. But both of his T-34s are lived. Mati, his Panzer IV survived. And Dextrous, his Panzer IV survived. So the Oswind was the loss. Overall, the Germans lost less, I, I would say, in that offensive. However, they used more munitions for their strikes, to be 100% fair. So that is something they can't pull off again for a little while. I don't think that was a, a negative... Uh, how do I put this in, in the best way? Map control, yes, it definitely went to the Germans right now. The Allies pulled back. But I don't think the Allies are that far down. I don't think it's a decisive. I think it's more of a stalemate sort of situation. Where, yeah, sure, the enemy did get pushed back. But overall, it wasn't a crippling blow. I don't think that... W it it would have been a crippling blow if the Panzer IVs were knocked out. It would have been a crippling blow if both T-3485s were knocked out. But neither, I, I, I think both sides could say, hey, we did this. And I think they would be okay with that. The question is, if the Allies can come back. If the Allies can't come back uh, from the territory they lost, then yes, the Germans won the long term and from that battle. But if it's only a short term uh, situation, then it really doesn't matter. Katusha coming on in, pushes back the Rakan for his Panzer IV in a bit of a pickle, pulling on back. Volk squads moving on in, trying to clear out those conscripts and stop any E2 grenades from just winding up on the side of that Panzer IV. Bouncing from an 85, interesting off the Panzer IV. And Panthers now on the field. No uh, you know, Tigers to speak of. We might see an IS-2 if Siberian keeps... Yeah, I think he's going to go for an IS-2. That would be that would be great. I, I, I'm kind of curious to see how he does with an IS-2. Uh, T-34 waiting up in the north. Panther's pushing in. I don't know if he sees this. But he does pen the 85. He's going on in. Panther trying to do what he can. Does uh, penetrate the T-3045 again, but so too does the 85 penetrate him. There's another 85 in the distance that he's probably unaware of. So... Again, good, a uh, 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 nice little engagement. Armor can be easily healed, though, by both engineers. And, of course, um, Troy does have the ability for conscript repair. So, again, he has even more men that can heal if need be. Plus, he has that uh, M4C Sherman, which is now on the field. It's just pretty damn good at firsting some Panzer IVs. Which, oh, speaking of the devil, it's coming on up. Again, another push coming on in. MG should suppress him. Also Don there as well to provide that, you know, anti infantry support. S-25 being brought by Siberian saying, I can, you know, as much as I want the IS-2, I, I, not today. Not today. Great shot with the M4C on the Grenadier squad. The grenade being thrown, the engineer squad pulls back. Armor being pushed back by the pack. And meanwhile, Pan's 4 up north being hit by the 85. But luckily, no, kinetic, uh, no good hits. So... I'm just kind of watching. Okay, let's push back. Waiting for... Oh, Katusha coming on in. Kind of hitting the area. Volk Squad gets taken out by the Douche Gut. That was a little bit of sloppy mix by Nextris. The other units are being hit by the Katusha Barrage. Katusha, by the way, is at 7 kills. Overall, hasn't gotten that many kills. Surprising, but... This is a competitive game, so you only got that first barrage, really, to connect the target. Otherwise... You're not really going to see a really good hit. Meanwhile, T-34 and S-285 are close by. T-34 coming on in. But for Cadmorphers on standby, ready to fire. Panther backing up and like, uh, yeah, we don't have infantry support. Maybe just wait a little bit. I'm just going to pull on back. But the Allies have managed to grab two VP points. So the Germans were not able to hold the Allied counterattack. Actually, they're about to get three. Yeah, so the Axis, like, Mahdi and Dex just really need a knockout blow. They truly needed that in that initial push. It just didn't work. 
It just, unfortunately, weren't able to do enough damage, which is unfortunate. 85 and M4C Sherman now coming in. That doesn't mean they can't do it now. We have Dexterous about to get another airstrike and Lyra Tilly Prize very close. So we could see another attempt at a, like a super like airstrike armor push combo. Hands Grenadiers doing a very nice job. Also, uh, hold on. Bottle Grenade misses target, but I think it might. No, they're not able to stop the Dushka from retreating. Another uh, bundle grenade. Conscripts, though, are aware. They do lose half their health, but they're aware. T-34 in a mine. Might be a bit of an issue. Alright, looks like the allies are holding pretty well. We have infantry pushing up to two t uh, to a T-34 against S-85. I mean... Oh, the Catwalkers are behind them. Okay. Cover stopping it, though. Soviet cover for you. Although, S-85 is now down to half health. He's going to pull back. So, they'd be like, two shot, pulling it back. Panther diving. Again, doesn't have the strike yet. This might have been too early of a dive. Uh, does shoot the T-34. Both units are pretty low. But Panther, even lower. And now the M4C is still there. Good shot with the Panzer IV against Conscript. Might be able to kill it. Might be able to. I don't think he's focusing. Conscript will retreat. But Catmorph is hit by mines. T-34 engaging. And again, I think what, losing that Panther is a huge loss. They needed that with a big push and a big swing to neutralize that armor. Now they're definitely on the de on the back swing. I'll give credit. Monty and Dexter are doing really well right now with what they the situation they've been handed. But still, uh, you can't dive like that. You really can't. Yeah, unless you absolutely are certain you can get in there and neutralize. Again, allies looking pretty strong. Really surprised we haven't seen any Panzerwerfers to deal with, like, Zisk guns. Lyra Tilly Barrage pushed back to Dushka. Just not... Again, I was hoping for a little bit of, uh... You know... Oh, Panzer Force down from the Zisk gun M4C Sherman. Now we only have a Panther. Dexterous has his Panzer IV, but that's just not enough. We have two Shermans and Siberian as one T-34 and S-25. We oh, the other one died. Okay. Uh, Rakamofers did kill it. All right, they did get something. Good for them. But still, even with that T-3045 dying, it's not enough. All right, Oswin being made. Not a bad idea. Shoot down airstrikes and anti infantry. Let's see what they can do. Volk Squad's coming on in. Again, Dexter's needs to use that strike, like, super well. To the point where he can neutralize a lot of armor in quick succession. So he needs to talk with Mahdi and be like, Mahdi, I need that panther. We need to do one big push. And hopefully my Rakaewafers don't die. Really hoping. Nope, he escapes. Soviet's doing, again, pretty well. All things considered. Siberian just deployed more reserves. And he's doing fine. Meanwhile, Troid has a good army as well. Both of them... Overall, pretty sizable army. Same thing with Mahdi... But with the new Oswin, Dexterous is right now the lowest side or the smallest army on the field right now. Pioneer Squad giving it all. That too, holding back the Conscript Squad. You gotta give it up. Pack Guns moving on in on the M4C Sherman. But uh, they're now detected, so they're gonna move back. Alright. Another M4C Sherman. God, a lot of Shermans being deployed right now. Panzer 4 and Panther on standby, ready to move on in. Oh, what was that? S-85, great snipe on the Panther. That now opens the door for a AT grenade to cause some havoc. Cervix right coming in the south, I guess, to stop the Pack 40, maybe? Might be able to do it, very low on health. Oswin, though, is probably going to shoot them down. Unless the M4C Sherman has something to say about it. Send him back to base. No? Okay. Send him back to base. No, just send him down south. Okay. I was hoping they would kind of crash into the enemy, but, you know, it's just me. Almost hits the Conscript Squad. Almost. Alright, almost are done. Again, Vet 4. 30 kills. Oh, good light artillery barrage there. I think. I think that, that's a lot better. So that removes the AT component from Siberia's infantry group. Now it oh, just relies on his armor. 
What the hell? Is this, is this getting a long range? Already shot the Panzer IV just bounces. That, that's great. Panzer four pushing south. Airstrike's coming on in. M4C Sherman too low. This could be a time. But the conscripts are keeping distance. I don't... Uh, airstrikes need to come in right now. Neutralize it. And no. I don't think they will. I think he's going to escape. Wow, he's even firing on the retreat. That's pretty amazing. Katusha in the combat zone. Hold on. Panther could take a long shot and go for the Katusha. Nope, not able to. Airstrikes, though, come in do quite a bit. But again, the conscripts are there, and he T grenade the Panther. That's, that, you have to clear the infantry before you can push on in. More air support. Some of it being shot down, but that's fine. We still got one plane left. This one is not being detected because of the, the MG. I got Panther on the field. Body has his Panther, but it needs repairs. A lot of armor, though, up north. You got the 85s and the Sherman fighting the Panther. And the Panzer IV, again, Vet three. Nothing to sneeze at. He's done a really good job keeping this thing alive. But there's so much right here. Those airstrikes really needed to come in with the Rekhaim first and stuff, which are slowly coming on in. Vet five. so again, good job keeping those alive. Panther misses shot. Pack does not. Pushes the armor back. MG trying to get there again. They need to hold the VPs. The body and dexters are super low. Panzer IV gets a good shot on target. Great shot with the Rakan where first neutralizing. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. One of the M4C Sherman's is dead. Uh, two, two, two more are still on the field. They can deploy additional supply drops. But still, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Liar to the brush coming on in. Conscripts need to stay off the point for a good chunk. Dusha though coming on. Oh no. That was the Vet 5 one. Oh, the Panther got hit with the rocket. Ah, uh, this is a dive. This is not worth it. Conscripts are all over the map throwing those AT grenades. Luckily, a 25 misses. Can the Panzer IV escape? No! Well, that's unfortunate. And the Oswin goes down, too. Oof. That's uh, that's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. M4C Sherman. Maybe the Panther can neutralize it. If it connects. Does kill it. I'll give credit. Troy lost two pieces of armor. The problem is S85 and the other thing didn't snipe the Panther. Unless uh, there's support. Pack gun needs a turn. The other pack gun is set up. There's nothing stopping the S85. Snipe. Very low on health. I'm seeing a snipe coming in. Oh, great, Katusha rocket. Bounces. That's good. Nope, Katusha kill. Did the Katusha really just kill a panther? All right, Katusha killed a panther. No, I have nothing more to say to that. Now they're killing the packs. Uh, yep, that's all of Maudie and Dex just, uh, is, I think, going to fall apart after this. What a game, though. What a hell of a game. I really thought Dexterous and Madi were probably going to be done, like, probably 15, 20 minutes sooner than where they actually ended up being done at. Like, seriously, really solid work by them. Good job on doing what they could to defend. Uh, miss on target against the S-85, but still, not too bad, all things considered. T-34 capturing the north, again. That uh, combat mode in the capture mode. Gotta love it. Folk squad trying to hold, but again, without AT support and additional infantry support, he's not doing it. MG set up. It's Vet 4. Gotta keep up the veteran team from Dextrous. Body as well has good units. But look at all these conscripts. 20 kills each. Oh, love it. Siberian, also seriously good infantry army. Though, I did lose a conscript, but overall, I still think that's worth it. And now, just for the nail in the coffin, let's get an IS-2 on the field, boys. Let's get an IS-2 on the field. Just charge right in. Panther moving on in. Now it's to contend with the IS-2. Does fire one shot on target. I think that's going to be it. They're saying GG. And they both surrender. It was a surrender, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Oh my god. Too modern and dexterous. About uh, I truly thought maybe in the last quarter you guys could have had an upswing, but alas, that was not the case.
after action report. What does it tell us? The after action report is currently showing, uh, eh, not too bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I currently have the other thing on. Hold on. Oh, that, that's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. Anyway, there we go. So, yeah. Overall, Troid Siberian, good game on their part as the Soviet. A nice win. Uh, 44,000 damage for Siberian. Gotta uh, give it up for him. Most kills, though, go to Troy. It's a good teamwork right there. Uh, Dexter's got more damage with 201. Rakai Warfers have to be that. They have to be the reason why. But Monty still did is a good effort. Let me. I want to double check that real quick. I have to assume it's Rakai Warfers, right? And of course, Bug Splat. Let's. Oh, Dexter's. I love you. All right. Let's. All right, you want? Know never mind. I'm. 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 I'm playing favorites. Hello, everyone. This is Gray Shot doing a 2v2 tackling resurgence tournament. And if you're wondering why I'm so overjoyed. B4, 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 uh, is possibly being brought to, to the floor with counterattack tactics and Siberian going Overwatch, because, you know what, I got no Goliath last game, give me a Goliath, give me a solid Goliath play, guys, I'm just, I'm just pointing it out, I'm just pointing it out. Am I rooting for the allies right now? Yes. Am I biased? Absolutely. So let's get to this. Anyway, last game, Troid and Siberian. As the Soviets did a death blow to Monty and Dextrous. But maybe as the Americans and Soviets, Dextrous and Monty can counterattack against Troid's austere and OKW forces that Syrian, Siberian, sorry, not Syrian, Siberian is bringing to the table. Anyway, we've got yourselves a Grenadier Pioneer Star. It's no initial NG. With Siberian going Volk and Sturm, building some cover and trying to quickly advance as fast as possible but the soviets are already capturing the middle point really good on their, their part again if anyone's wondering why they constantly do this i know this is something that you probably see in a lot of tournaments is even though it might say you have cover there because a lot of times if you look closely you'll say oh you have cover no you don't you you honestly do not have cover so that's kind of why uh that's the case and so that way it's uh a good overall um cover situation for the enemy can't use it against you very nice in that regard really really cool and solid across the board so anyway you build cover as well so that way when you go over points it's better for you uh we got rifleman fighting off double grenadier yeah the 2v1 sorry rifleman you might have uh you know five men in your squad but grenadiers have eight and they outnumber you easily rashlon down south, just grabbing territory, building some cover as uh, and some barbed wire as before. But wait, what's this? Troid going with a sniper? Oh, hello there. Interesting play. Again, we're not seeing a UKF. Because um, the, the UK forces would be something you could easily counter with a sniper. Because it's four-man squads. more At least it's more susceptible. Pioneer squad going in for the cutoff. Double cutoff right now. So that's cutting off all... Oh my god. In a blink of an eye, Madi and Dex just went from having 26 or something fuel to nothing. They, they got nothing. Wow, that's unfortunate. Good double decap by Troy. Going in for the jugular. And y yes, uh, so in chat, some people did bring up like regrettable replays I cast. If you want to know like what not to do. But, it, again, everyone is going to play this game and make those mistakes. I make those, uh, I, I cast games like of that to just make fun and poke fun. Because, God, you go back to some my, my, my early stuff, it's pretty bad. But in this 2v2 fair, we can all, we can enjoy some of the better play. Oh, I love there's a minefield already down. Why not? Anyway, big old American blob counterattacking. He's like, get out of my point. But uh, they're not capturing it. They're not capturing it right now, so... You might be pushing back the Germans, but you're only getting four fuel per turn. Six munitions. Oh, Jesus Christ. S can, can somebody spare a couple fuel and munitions for Mahdi and Dextrous, please? 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 Uh, snipers coming on in. Hopefully getting a nice shot on target. Hold on. Uh, it's gotten three kills so far. There we go. Is there anything down here? Oh, no. Rifemen are actually close by. He could, again, push up if he wants to. All right. We're recapping territory somewhat, I think. American forces still pressing. They're not capturing territory. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Captain doing quite a bit, pushing back the right deer squad. Siberian does have the JLI on the field, so again, have to watch out for that. Volk squad pushed back, and these allies are finally capturing the point back. But that's a huge crippling blow. Because again, if, let's say for these Soviet forces, they're, they'll have to wait even longer before they get, let's say, a T-70 or something like that on the field. Because what, 7 minutes was the last one we saw? Right? Well, we're not seeing it at 7 minutes at this rate. Probably not. Anyway, MG and other forces capturing the point. Going to move on up. Sniper, 6 kills already. Pick off the Rashlon squad. Again, very, very good at just being a consistent annoyance to the enemy. Uh, Captain just holding its own, doing very well, even though it's, it's got the vet one, even with one kill. It's done quite a bit of damage. Meanwhile, Captain and the Rifleman aiming the Volk squad while the flamethrower. I, th I believe he's firing through the fire, like he's through the pit. Uh, look, Volk squad, you might be holding strong, but I don't think you yeah, you're going to want to retreat. Good plan, he does pull on back. And we'll get out of there. Now we got like a couple German infantry just like, okay, gain cover and the allies have to fall back. Which makes sense. I mean, uh, look, I'm gonna be honest. You may be like, oh, yeah, it's 2v1. Well, they're very low on health. And the one thing about this unit is they're very good at picking off low health infantry. Sniper down south looks like it took a few hits. But overall, it's still kicking, doing pretty well for itself. 12 kills, now with the vet 1. MG set up to help keep the Soviets back. We do have American forces down south. I do find it funny the Soviets pushing so much in this area. But yeah, they got pushed back pretty hard. American half-track being deployed. Okay, so they got that out a little bit sooner. Dexter's still going to be a little ways off before he gets his T-70. Troy, on the other hand, he's not going for a 222, interesting enough. Usually you see an early 222 to just cause havoc, but I guess he just wants to micro the sniper. And Siberian uh, he, as well, not... Oh, sniper, run! Oh, please don't lose the sniper. Just run, just run, just run. Okay. No medics, so again, he's going to have to rely on either Grandier Squad with uh, the medics, or he's going to have to uh, get himself a bunker. One of, the, one of the two. Again, Germans going for the cutoff. Allies are can't win today. Having a really rough time. Alright. Conscripts, again, looks like they're the main frontline infantry. We got MG and a this gun looks like commander wise Maudie went tactical support Calliope's so it looks like the allies are going more with arty focus this round a half track pushing back the Sturm squad captain as well on standby again so the MG but nowhere close to getting armor piercing rounds I would typically say that's what you bring in with armor piercing rounds the fight off the additional armor and such it, 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 a, a lighter variety because arm piercing rounds can do so much damage but I just don't think that's going to work in this situation you, you not, at least not enough time to get it bedded before you know you get taken out MG set up Puma coming on in hopefully hit the target Again, I'll give credit for the Puma. It's a good counter to light armor. So that's seriously going to put the allies in disadvantage. But again, a, again, just a simple AT gun and an AT uh, grenade could easily ruin that thing's day and just push it back very easily. So you have to watch out. Puma is also not the best against infantry. It has a good coaxial machine gun. Like, it can do some things. Just don't expect it to be like a, a Panzer II or... A steward, or even like a T-70, or like anything like that. It's just not, it's designed to kill all that stuff I just mentioned. Not really be on par with it. Puma up north. We got some infantry on standby. Good job with the MG, forcing it back. MG hitting uh, the area. AA got a few shots. 
Uh, again, nowhere near veterancy, so he still has a little bit of time. M1's not on the field as well, so good AT support from the Americans. Um, again, Troid might be just going, if I have to assume, for a Panzer IV. Just try to rush it as soon as possible. Because I don't see a 222 at this rate. I, I'm just being off. I, I don't. We also do have some Soviet mines. It looks like Dexter's trying to make sure he has a good solid defense. Americans can't lay the, the better stuff with this commander, but they can lay their cheap mines. So. Sniper opening fire. A half track opening fire on the Panzer. Oh, sorry, Panzer Grenadiers. Doing really good work. Oh, by the way, yes, there were v uh, for chat asking. Yes, there were vetoes based on maps, stuff like that. It's similar to how the the show match was, where that stuff's going on. Uh, unfortunately, the game again with how it's going. I just want to get into the next game, uh, just because I was so late to joining the game. I was like, uh, let me just make sure I get into. It. Anyway, Kuma. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Hits a shot. Oh, Ziskin from the flank. Nice. I thought I was watching the, the M1 down south, but no. Good shot from the Zis. Kuma's pushed back. Sniper doesn't know where to go. Oh, he's going to try to hit that MG. Good shot. 20 kills already. We're 10 minutes in. The Sniper has 20 kills. I, I see good things in this thing's future. Immediately gets hit by a plane crash. That... that Artillery uh, aiming a little high. Most likely he was trying to go for the sniper. Again, MG does push back. Get Oh, we got our pressing rounds. We got our pressing rounds. Oh, it's so low, though. I don't think you want to use it unless you have something else shooting. Oh, uh, or pack gun. Pack gun works, too. Is he just going to stand there? Oh, very lucky that didn't hit. Sniper. Again, you should be aware of this. Rifleman coming in along the flank to hit the pack. Sniper could use arm piercing round. He doesn't have a ton of munitions, but he could use it to pin it, stun it, or just, you know, shoot it with normal bolts. Also now vet too, so that's pretty damn cool. You know, just want to cause that issue. Yeah, vet two sniper. There you go. Puma's back in action. Still only one kill against infantry. Uh, Germans do manage to possibly grab the you know, northern fuel and hold it. If so, they'll have double fuel. Which will help get that Panzer IV out even sooner. Which to me, I would say is a big win. Do, uh, MG backing them up, pushing back the German infantry. Luckily not hitting any of the mines on their retreat path. Lucky for them, unfortunate for the Soviets. But, uh, yeah, and look, uh, if you're wondering why he got it, because some people are asking why he got the Puma. The Puma's good against the lighter armor, so that's why I did he, just because he wanted to make sure he could lock that stuff down. And right now, the AA half-track and stuff like that had to ha has to keep staying back, because, again, of the uh, pack and armor support. So... Right now, that allows him to as well get a Stuka, which is going to counteract a lot of the mobile, like, uh, the, the M1, along with maybe hit some of the mobile in infantry. Plus, you got then, say, uh, Troy being like, alright, I'll get I'll get the Panzer IV, which he's about to get. Like, I'm not even joking, with this building being upgraded, he could go straight for a Panzer IV and have that out by, like, a little over 14 minutes, which is a really good time for a Panzer IV. So overall, looking pretty solid across the board, in, in my opinion, at the very least. Anyway, we got ourselves Grandiers holding mid. Rifle grenade does health damage, not a lot. Uh, just overall da uh, damage taken uh, by the Volk squads, SG 44s and the Grandiers MG42. Weaken it down, getting multiple models. Very low on health, but I think you'll be fine on the retreat. The M1's in a bad situation where he's now being pressed. Captain and American, even with LMGs, again, good job with the upgrades. All this is upgraded, by the way. Really nice job. Is now just harm's way. Bundle grenade could be thrown. Again, might be something you have to worry about. We'll see. Volk squad again. They're pressing so close to the alley lines again. It's kind of concerning. Oh, Minesweepers on the field. So hey, good job. At the very least, Dexterous has the ability to be like, okay, we have this area checked out. We'll be fine. 
Bazooka coming in. Oh, is he eating the Zis? Oh, he definitely hit the Zis gun. There it goes. And Bazooka is already worth its shot. Because again, knocking that unit out, that allows them to make sure they can maybe neutralize with the Puma. Or never mind, Conscripts just reman it. Oops. Down south, Volk Squad. Oh, like, hold on, Volk Squad might be able to decommission it, right? Or, never mind, Pack Gun just shoots it. <laughs> Tiberian's like, excuse me, I wanted that fuel. I wanted that fuel, buddy. Oh. Well, uh, that was unfortunate. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, you don't decommission stuff when there's uh, four squads of riflemen with LNGs. I hope we all learned a valuable lesson here today. Major's on the field. Again, body only has seven fuel, so don't expect a Sherman anytime soon. Dextrous has the final base, but like I said, he's nowhere near getting armor for another few minutes. P-47 coming in? Uh, I think it's straight to the Jaeger Life G Squad up north. Uh, Panzer IV. Alright, hitting the Rifleman squads, pushing it back. The M1 was decrewed, so we need some form of AT. He's now down. Um, double M1's on the field. We get them out as soon as possible. He's like, as many, get as many AT guns as possible. Minefield trying to be cleaned up, but MG stopping them from doing so. Let's see, VPs are all in the Axis control. Al oh, allies being pushed in the base. Panzer IV getting a nice shot there. Just saying, I mean, there's nothing stopping him from just causing havoc. Trident Siberian just being so aggressive right now. They've been aggressive this entire game. Uh, great shot, by the way, with Zis forcing him back. Again, second Zis gun. This is where that uh, Stuka, wait. Yeah, the Stuka really comes in play. Because then you can hit these AT guns when they're set up to hit the armor. Just neutralize them, and that way, the as well with the infantry push, you're all good. And Siberian, like, all right, finally I got the AT gun. There we go. Volk Squad, you know, it's, it's okay. Large blob of infantry pushing north. Maybe they're trying to do... They, they see the enemy in the south and they figure they can push north and hold. But Stuka's coming on in. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, he, that could have been so bad. Stuka didn't get a single kill on that. But he lit a, a blob of infantry walked through a Stuka and somehow lived. Astonishing in my eyes. Major now with the vet one, so we got double recon now. Again, the more veterans he gets, the more abilities he's able to use against the enemy. Kuma getting some great shots against the half track, uh, though he is very weak. Bundle grenade. Again, he tried to use that retreat, but again, Monty held off his retreat. Oh no, this could be a bad retreat though. One unit picked off, and that's really good rifle squad being done uh, picked off. Jesus. It's uh not a great day. Also, only if he can pick up the LMG. Do we? Oh, he did. I think he did. Oh wait, the American, uh, the engineer. Oh, he gets picked off too. Without doubt, one engineer squad. Allies losing quite a bit, and no armor support in sight. I'm assuming Dexter is saving up for a KV. Oh, Troy did lose his sniper. I missed that. Oh, I'm so sorry. He did lose his sniper. I don't know what this concert squad's doing, but uh, it's not making much headway. Alright, they need to recap this territory. And, uh, yeah, keep holding. Now, Siberian is, again, he's able to upgrade his base fully. 35 fuel per turn. He'll be able to get technically armor out in the next, like, three minutes if he needs to. Uh, if he wants to save up further, he absolutely could. It depends, actually, if these AT guns neutralize the Panzer IV. No, that would have been a good counter. If, if Mahdi was able to counter that, that could have been really, really good. Suka is firing. Great hit against sport infantry. Uh, even the front line infantry got took a little bit of that action. Yeah, Stuka's into vet one now. Oh, his Stuka gets vet one after 11 kills. Mine gets 30, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, you went veterancy one, please. You're only halfway there. That's my luck with the Stuka barrage, anyway. Shock troops do manage to take the north, so again, stopping the, the heavy bleed. 
Again, the allies just need to keep their lines together. It just... It feels like they just keep falling apart. NG stopping the over squad from possibly pushing against the M1s. Panzer Force healed up. Puma, where is that baby going? He's going up north. Going after the shock troops. All grouped up together. Um, are we... Oh, Jesus! I don't think that was supposed to be as explosive as it was, but alright, Shock Troops has lost two models. Zisk Guns do open fire, pushing it back. Certain Pioneer Squad moving on in. He could activate Minesweepers in 1 2 and see that mine, but he's not. Just focusing on the unit. He's trying to kill the Zisk Gun, makes sense. And yeah, he's gonna lose it. The question is can they kill the Sturm Squad? Oh, Stun Grenade going off! Good use, so we can get out of there without the grenade being thrown, or at least being delayed. Gradier's picking off the MG. A hey, half track's there, but it's just not been able to do the work that I think he wants it to. Again, this is a situation where you need that great strike. Well, unfortunately, Siberia does have air he can call in. Now, again, I'll bring up the point that the allies do have anti-air. And it looks like something is coming in of a major note from Dextrous. KV-1's on the field. Well, KV-1 turned the tide. Unlikely. Pack and Stuger on the field. But it's it's better than nothing. And it can take a heck of a lot of damage. So if you're getting anything, that's probably the best way to go. go ahead. A half-track just putting pressure on the Yigerlai Eiptree squad. Doing pretty well for himself. Now the Germans just, like, again, holding the choke point. Detroit and Siberian doing an excellent job of just going for the throat and holding against the enemy. So, seriously, really good job right there. Now we have a Calliope on the field. Again, we uh, rock artillery is always something that can be super impactful or literally hit nothing. So, like, not trying to be mean, but, like, by God, it's, it's always that, like, you never know what you're going to get. So, how effective do I think it's going to be? Probably not so much, but it could be. It could be. I always bring out that fact. Again, Germans have been blobbing a little bit this game. It could be a very effective. Recon's overhead trying to find out a target. Dextrous as well could deploy a B4. That would be uh, possibly an Exodia level or, you know, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! God card level counter to the Germans. I get why Dextrous doesn't. He wants to fight fair and square rather than using the all-supreme godlike unit known as the B4. But KV-1's doing a good job, but Panzer Grenadiers lost their cover, or a piece of cover, and they lost their barbed wire as well. Okay, Stuka, I don't think, did all that much damage. I'm looking at the M1s, they look fine. No, they didn't, he didn't get very good. Wait, hold on, MG might be in harm's way. Oh, he got one, oh, he got suppression on all of them. That's a rookie mistake by Dexterous right there. Keep moving. Otherwise, suppression chain. He could have got all that. Even AT grenaded some things if he really wanted to. Oh, he doesn't have munitions for it. Never mind. Bunker now being set down. They need to remove that. This gun, where is that? It is... Okay. Oh, Puma's trying to penetrate KV-1 armor. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Oh, he does get a Faust off, I think. Yeah, Faust hit the KV armor. Puma gonna try uh, to kill the KV from a... With a strategy of death through a thousand cuts. Literally, the Puma has a rough time penetrating KV armor, but it can do it. Just, you know. Smoke going down to make the resistance survive. A gun, again, good teamwork right there for survival. Problem is, three VPs are against them. It's not looking good. Clive, he got four kills in that barrage. Okay, so he got something. Again, we need to neutralize the Stuka, in my opinion. Siberian looks like he's gonna, he could easily get a Panther right now if he wanted to. That would penetrate. That would easily deal with KV. Bunker dealt with. They, uh, looks like America and uh, the Soviets might be launching a decent counterattack. Again, it's how much can they kill. That's the big thing. If they kill a lot, if they can kill like this great air squad, that's a big win. That, that could literally help turn the tide, because that's a frontline unit. But, again, you need to move up to do that, and it looks like Grandier Squad will live. Panzer IV neutralizing the Zisk gun, oh, sorry, the M1s, which are way, way cut off. Another Panzer IV in the south is going, or Stu, possibly going for the Calliope. Rockets hitting the Volk Squads in Sturm. 
not able to get a kill, I don't think. No. And now the Calliope's under fire, easily killed. Unfortunate. And I think this might be it. This might be game. KV taking a lot of damage. I don't know if that's the Puma's work, but Body and Dexterous, unfortunately, do bite it there. But still, great game across the board. Good game. Let's look at the after action report, ladies and gentlemen, and let's see what it entailed. All right, let's see damage and everything. Overall, I think just Siberian and Troy literally went up to the allies and held them by the throat. And even though they squirmed a bit, it, Dexterous and Monty couldn't get out of the grasp. They just couldn't let go. Also, units lost. Monty, perfect. 117. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, most damage goes to Dexterous. Most kills goes to Monty. The winning team, Siberian, got more kills and more damage. But still, solid game across the board. It's just Dexterous and Monty. Uh, just, again, resources. They literally just were unable to keep a consistent flow. And Siberian and Troy just went for a very early cutoff. But the big thing was, they went for the early cutoff, but they didn't lose that many units. I think they lost, like, one Volk Squad. Um, I would go look, but the game's probably going to bug spot as soon as I do. But, yeah, it's one of those things where cu early cutoff, not a lot of losses, held the enemy down in their base. Even though when the enemy counterattacked, it wasn't a severe enough counterattack for the damage Siberian and Troy inflicted on them in the first place. So, overall, really good early game by... Siberian and Troid, they now lead 2-0, but Monty and Dexter still can come back. Just want to note, they still can come back, so we'll see how things progress after this. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here, and I'm doing game 3 of a best of 5 with Siberian and Troid versus Monty and Dextrous. Uh, Siberian and Troid have done a really good job at putting Monty and Dextrous on the back foot, but De Monty and Dextrous did a lot better as the Axis, so maybe... Hopefully, things go a lot well. Oh, and for those who don't know, Siberian and a few, uh, of course, streams. So if you want to check out his Twitch channel, check it out. Alvadi is a individual as well that you can check out. He, of course, uh, streams. And I love this. Troy's like, wait, what about me? I stream too. But yeah, uh, specifically, Alvadi uh, specifically is the person who hosted and put this all together. So make sure you go give him a big shout out and, and you know, support if possible. Only one can be supreme. <laughs> Oh god. Ah, oh, love love friendly camaraderie between allies and enemies. That's that's nice. That's so nice. But anyway, in the meantime, uh, we got cover being placed. Again, Troy trying to make sure the enemy can't use it. Uh, again, cover being placed with Volks and Sturm being deployed. And Austere uh, is deploying Grandier Pioneer MG. Alright. But Dexterous is going elite armor. That is something we have not seen yet today. Uh, hopefully that can turn to a victory. Siberian going is something we have seen. So obviously, being unbiased and just going on sheer tactical skill and brilliance, I have to say this is the best choice he could have made. Not because I literally am obsessed with the Russian artillery piece. Not at all. I just think that is the best commander you could have gotten. Meanwhile, both Soviet players have gone three conscripts and engineer squad. We got a uh, Siberian battling it out in the castle, which is a bit of a, an issue because of, well, Sturm Pioneers at close range, uh, causing havoc for the Engineer, forcing it back. Now Volks are pouring on in. Those Conscripts might be on the back foot. They are going to try to move to cover to hold out, but we'll see. Again, um, no uh, struck out yet, so no Incendiary. But possibility is, I would assume, is they would move up, throw Incendiary, and beat the enemy out of there. Or, you know, that, that's what I would think. Volk squads are lighting up the conscripts. Sturm Pioneers as well. Doing pretty well. More conscripts coming on in. Now it looks like it's more uh, siding with the Soviets. Again, the problem is the conscripts have decent range where the Sturm Pioneers might have a bit of an issue. But if they get close to this conscript squad while well, you can't see them, maybe that could help. One conscript does get pushed back. The other one is flanking. He's trying to get close, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Conscripts just lighting him up. Get a good set of volleys in. And the Sturm Pioneers, while they do a little bit, not enough. Now, again, the Conscript is still flanking the Volk Squad. Hitting him pretty dang hard from the side. Meanwhile, on the far left-hand side, the Conscripts are trying to hold their own. As well, be looks like Conscripts beating back Pioneers to flank that MG. Might be enough. Grandiers need to go help out the side before a flank does occur and looks like it will. Conscript's about to pour on in against the MG. 
But Grandiers quickly move in and Monty protects his, his MG. Good guard right there. Wolf Squad still holding out, but additional... Uh, oh my god. Flamethrower coming on in being like, alright, you guys better get out of here. Volk Squad's immediately run for the hills. We didn't mean it! Don't burn us! Uh, anyway, barbed wire going down to stop a cover from being used by them. Or maybe just block the entrance, which either way is pretty funny in my eyes. Conscript King around the MG. Good flank by Siberian. Again, uh, think about it. He's working on this and now also working on this. That's a lot to work on across the map. So again, good micro on his part. Um, now, in case anyone's wondering. Hey, wait a second. You said he streams. Does that mean he's... Does that mean he's, uh, that all KOTU streamers have, like, high, like, top-notch skill like you, Shot? Does that mean you're a competitive player? <laughs> no, I'm, I suck. But, luckily, Siberian does have the skills of being both a, uh, a, you know, a streamer and, as well, uh, a good KOTU player. It seems like that, their skills are paying off for the most part. Push back around here, squad. More constructs coming on in. Again, just unfortunate. Flamethrower just showing the back like, come at me, bro! And again, just to kind of give you an idea of how damage works in Code 2, for those who maybe are uninformed or new to this, a flamethrower in Code 2 is super effective against conscripts in any infantry because uh, what you don't know is uh, Relic used the idea of everyone is a, uh, what is it, a like wax toy. So you can shoot the wax figure with bullets, and the wax figure is totally fine. You can still walk around relatively. You shoot it enough, he'll fall apart. But if you use a flamethrower, it melts. It absolutely just, you know, catches fire. It, you know, it's not well for the figure. So, yeah, that's that's essentially their base, like, model and how damage works. It, think of all KOTU soldiers as just wax figures. That's why bullets can hit them, and they're totally fine. Anyway. 2-2-1 on the field, and that was a decent machine gun to hold back infantry for a little bit. Uh, mine going down, bad idea, flamethrower showing him the error of his ways, and burn him to death. Good kill. Waxworks nightmare unit, yeah pretty much, thank you chat for that now in my mind. Siberian just locking up the right hand side, did he just run through that? Alright, I, 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 you know what, I see it, I see something here. Anyway, conscripts coming up, uh, retreating back. Looks like mines and some other stuff were placed to try to hold the sector. Uh, conscript moving on in. Does have a T-grenade. Siberian does have that. Uh, looks like, again, he doesn't have the Sturm, which does suck because now he needs a way to repair that. That, well, doesn't require it getting to four command points. Rough grenade fired, but again, being one step ahead of the game. Uh, the conscripts managed to uh, dodge that. Grand Ears moving on in. Pushing him back. MG as well, kind of covering the area. The enemy is taking our territory. Let's see, Conscript's taking the left, and that's two VPs for the allies. Volk squad's uh trying to beep trying to kill that engineer squad. I don't think he's paying attention right now. Troy. Or he just doesn't care. Either or. But he does manage to live. Which is unfortunate. Because I think he really needed to kill that squad. Another flamethrower comes out. Try to burn back the bulk squads. I'm seeing a trend here. Lots of fire. Is what I'm seeing. Anyway. Conscripts trying to push back the Vulcan. Looks like they might be able to. He does fall back. 2-2-1. Two, two, does have Sturms to heal them. But I don't think it's enough firepower. Be like, yeah, let's push against the Soviet lines. That, that maybe not. He'd probably get this unit in the back. Conscript just chilling, taking the fuel. Not sure what's really stopping him, but yep. Grand Ears just buying good cover, trying to hit the conscripts. Let's see more conscripts on the field. Again, Siberian just has conscripts. He has really nothing else, so I gonna assume he's lost a little bit. Hold on. No, he hasn't. He has not. He's just rushed up between bases. Meanwhile, Troy has gone with the other idea of just getting equipment. So, and one less frontline unit. So, two different strategies. One going with armor, one going with more of an infantry build. Rough grenade fired. Does hit him on retreat. Good shot there by Mahdi. 
may be able to take the left side. Looks like Conscript trying to throw or a T grenade at him or something. The Siberian. Hey, look, I, I'm not saying this is a bad idea, but a very ballsy idea. Oh, I mean, if the Grandios come in, they could probably kill him on her tree. A T grenade might not be enough to kill him. We'll see. It's gonna be close. Does kill him. All right. Now, if the, Con if the Conscript Squad gets out of there in one piece, definitely not worth it. Um. Uh. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. So let's see. Two two one is what? Two hundred, right? How much is that? Two twenty fifteen. So yeah, I mean it's still probably definitely a loss for losing a two two one, especially because you want to get resources and definitely a fuel. But still, losing a conscript squad when you don't have that much of army to begin with, not great. More conscripts coming on in. T seventies on the field, but it got pushed back by. Rakan Morfer, though, he's still pressing. Luckily, Troy has a good amount of support, and that seems to be helping out immensely. MG still there, kind of covering. Another MG set up. Mortar coming on in. Uh, okay, buddy, Monty, look, I'm not, I, I typically don't try to, like, especially in a competitive play, because, as I mentioned, I suck. But, when you have a T70 on the field, it might be a good idea to get some form of AT to deal with it. J just saying. Just saying. Pioneer Squad now unfortunately being chased and killed by the T-70. Just being executed right there, unfortunately. And now that T-70 can, well, at least no, he had a big impact. Oh, God. Good rifle grenade. Killed the guys as if assuming they were coming around. So that's a good, wait, was that another one of Siberian's units? Or is that an engineer? What is that? As an engineer squad, I think. Unless Troy got another conscript squad while I wasn't looking. Hold on. No, it was an engineer squad. Okay, I was okay. Wanted to make sure. Wanted to clear wanted to clarify that situation. So yeah, he lost he lost an engineer squad. T70 trying to push back the Panzer Grandiers. Yeah, Soviets losing a little bit here and there. That absolutely has a major impact on the game. Great shot on the T70 by the Rakan Warfare. Luckily, Dexterous' AT is doing more than enough. As well, Troy went mechanized support, so he has some long-range fare. Volk Squad's trying to come on in. Malta really well uh, placed. Again, just chilling right there on top of each other, really. You're, you're just expecting, uh, uh, you know, some Soviet vodka to hit you in the face that's on fire. Nice kill, though. Once again, Siberia losing a unit. Again, it's great if you're killing the enemy, but it's not great if they're also killing you. We might see... Oh, I was going to say another kill? But no, he managed to get out. Conscripts uh, pushing back the Volk squads, though they will get out just fine. I don't see anything stopping them. Sturms and Conscripts fighting. Conscripts should probably be on the other side. Sturms as well should probably be on the other side, but I don't think either of them expected to be in a fight like that. Germans do manage to take mid, but the right-hand flanks are currently under allied control. And lots more mines and barbed wire being placed by Siberian because he just likes this stick. He's like, I'm just going to put all the barbed wire everywhere. Grandier squad might be able, again, if they're lucky, they can maybe pick that unit off or retreat. If he's lucky, I would focus on it, but it looks like he's just laying a retreat. Every unit you kill is one less you have to fight. Opening fire with the MG on target. T70 hitting him. Grenade a little off, though I, I like the attempt. Siberian trying to go for the kill. He's like, Retribution does get the MG. Really good steal right there. And T70 preventing, uh, hopefully, them from picking it off. Big old blob of Volk coming on in at the literally just a second late. A little sooner, and he probably could have stopped it. A lot of infantry, though, stopping any uh, additional charging. And the Volk squads have to contend with guards, troops, with DPs now. As well as conscripts with throwing Molotovs and such. Blob is dodging shots left and right. MG now. Not, it's funny. Not fired with main gun, but kind of on the side. Molotov hits Grand Air Squad, pushing it back. Infantry still advancing, though, needs AT support, which is not coming anytime soon. Panzer IV, though. Okay, so Mahdi going with the Panzer IV. 
13 minutes in, very early on. I am surprised he managed to get that, actually. Uh, I'm very surprised. Oh, yeah, he didn't build light mechanized. So that, okay. So his thought process was, why bother spending fuel on that? I'm just going to rush for it. All right, Conscript Squad opening fire on the Panzer Grandier Squad. Oh my god, is he really going to hold back a Panzer Grandier Squad? Oh, nope, there's a bundle. Oh, on the retreat! A little more to the right would have done more, but still, uh, they at least pushed it back. Meanwhile, um, Dexter's trying to go for that cutoff that uh, Siberian and Troy did earlier by going for the fuel. Unfortunately, not so much. Sturms, though, luckily, good close range. The Conscripts decided to walk right into him, so not maybe the best idea right there. Panzer IV moving on in against the Conscript Squad. Volk Squad as well going on at, going on in. Alright, Panzer IV. Let's see. Do the Allies have AT? We have Guard Troops, AT Grenades, and a Zis Gun. Siberian has no form of AT. Oh, no. What does he do? Oh, he's upgrading all the way to Mechanized Combined. He's going for KV. That's two minutes. No, three minutes without fuel. Okay. Hold on a second. Madi might have found a little weakness here. If they can neutralize this gun and push forward, the allies could easily be forced back. And yeah, this gun's about to be neutralized. Okay, we... Oh, Madi and Dexters have a game. Oh, wait. Uh, nope. The, the infantry need to screen the Zisk gun. And, of course, heal the Panzer IV. A lot of infantry now is coming back in. MG or something? MG might want to move up a little more. Although the shock troops are right there, so it's not exactly a great situation at all. Great ears being hit. Come on, run! Seven-man squad. Nothing to sneeze at. Trying to pick him off. Luckily, he might be able to escape. MG a little bit too far forward for my liking. I'm waiting for the shock troops to roll on up. But he might just be staying there. Just be like, ah, I have the point. What matters? MG's going to express the unit. Artillery's coming in. Gets a good hit on the front model. T-70 took a hit. Almost a dot and take mid. Yeah, that's, that just hasn't deployed anything yet. Oh, get a Sturm Tiger. No, no, God. Look, I love the Sturm Tiger. I, I truly do, but I don't think that's like the GG 2v2 game unless you are, honestly can hit target. And so far, that may be the case with these guys, but again, you have to be very lucky to do that, I'm assuming. Troid, again, he's saving up a lot of fuel. I don't think saving up for an ISU 152 is the net good idea because he has a 9 CP. And the ISU in 5.2 is 14. So there's a bit of a difference right there. It's about, you know, 5. So, you know. Also, Conscript's not taking the point. Luckily, Siberian realizes that. Katusha being made, so it looks like he's going to get something right there. Siberian as well, most likely saving up for a KV-1. Still about a minute away from getting it. But still closer and closer. He could absolutely get it. We have a, looks like a push coming on in. Panzer IV back on up. Could definitely force back the shock troops over there. There's not much stopping him from doing so. Grand Air Squad would be like, yep, I'm out, peace. Not dealing with it. Panzer IV going to go deal with it. This gun's there kind of covering, but Panzer IV is going a long way, so this gun's out of range. We got a big push coming out on the right-hand side to clear up the castle. Double AT. You have double Rakan Warfers. I love it. The allies have no armor yet. They will with the KV-1 that's about to deploy for sure. But Volk Squad's coming in against the Conscript. Almost a Dot as well. Yeah, DPs are great. Almost a Dot, though, is what? The best unit you can deploy? I, th I think you can consider it the best infantry killer you can deploy from the base. Guard troops are special units that you deploy in, but still, I think Almost a Dot can beat them. Recalifer's coming on in. But Katusha, perfect shot if they all connect and they're all a bit high for the first salvo. And the second salvo just has an unfortunate mix. Third salvo. Hits his own men. Uh, luckily, no casualties. Storm Pioneers uh, definitely not going to do the same. And uh, yeah, looks like they're going to definitely cause some casualties. Though Molotov might be able to keep things at least even. And yeah, it looks like Storms do fall back. Or pull back. S-285 being brought up. Wait, he's getting an S-285, not a KV. Interesting choice. T-70 moving on in. 
Uh, mines being placed. Again, they still have mid. VP-wise, it's still going against the Axis right now. Allies still in a really good predicament. Panzer IV pushing back the T-70. Not going to be enough with this gun right there holding him back. Okay, guards are trying to do what they can. T-70, bet 3, 70 kills, nothing sees that. Good rifle grenade, looks like guard troops might, or will definitely have to pull back. Flamethrower coming in once again to just cause hell, although it's definitely not the same one from before. Jesus Christ! Well, uh, okay, anyway, beyond that, uh, conscripts and shock troops currently duking out against a bunch of bulk squads. MG setting up, so shock troops have a rough time. Although, good grenade, you know, what hell. Although, again, just stay back. Oh, Malta, uh, not Malta, smoke grenade going out. But, uh, yeah, Obers are coming in. Hands 4 going on the right-hand side now. Looks like that's a little more open. S-55 that is open to, like, shoot. But, again, if there's all these buildings in the way, good mortar hit stopping the engineer squad in tracks. And maybe I was just trying to hit this mortar. It's just, unfortunately, a bad spot to repair. Whatever the case, it worked out just fine. We got Panzer IV coming along the right. The, again, two Panzer IVs. That can definitely out-DPS an S-55 and possibly dive a Katusha if they're lucky. But again, there are mines in the area, so that it's it's a risk reward. I see what the possibility. Let's see if Dextrous and Monty can act upon it. Plus, remember his heat rounds and Panzer Commander, so he can call an artillery and all sorts of stuff. Conscript pull, being pushed back, S25 aiming down that long sight. But Panzer IV is on the left hand, could flank. Oh, we have double S25. Never mind, this could be a bit of an issue for the Germans. Again, S25s are good tank destroyers, can easily hold back Panzer IVs at a decent range. Does have extended sight. Probably get a shot on target. Does pen. Pans before down the half health. Needs to pull back further. Stern Pioneer, though. That too could definitely help with repairs. S25 watching over the infantry. Again, they're trying to have just good tank destroyer screens across the board. And maybe hope their infantry can do the damage. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, Monty at the very least has a good infantry force. Again, 23 kills. A lot of good kills across the board. Yeah, so for those who... Uh, so chat brought, brings up a good point. What's the difference between this one and uh, the other one? So where's the other one? This one? Well, the that one, for example, is a lot a bit more expensive. That one's 381.40. This one is 120.350. The reason why it's a bit more expensive is additional armor and uh, stats that help buff out that Panzer IV. It's not a huge incremental buff like the 85 and the 76 T34, but it's still enough. To where it is a better tank point for, for point. Plus, it does have a better, at least in my opinion, has a better uh, ability with the combat blitz. I really enjoy combat blitz for just helping to strike down opponents very quickly. But anyway, right now, that's uh, the biggest issue is taking the VPs, and they need to deal with that conscript squad. Maybe a quick kill would be good. B Force coming in action a uh, little bit. Uh, positioning wise, I think it would be better here, but I'm not going to judge. Siberian has my, the mighty B4 on the field, so I'm just happy we're going to see it. I'm so happy we're going to see it. I'm so happy I picked this set of games. Holy God. Alright, let's see what happens. Anyway, Shock Troops uh, trying to do what they can, but a big old blob stops them. Katusha, though, from Troid is coming in? No, he's hitting mid. Pack gun survives though. The barrage and Grand Air Squad gets out. Constant trying to go for the hit, but Grand Air Squad trying to hit him. The enemy has destroyed an anti -tank gun. Wait, what? Oh, they decrewed it. Okay, Constant didn't do that. Panzer four and uh, you know them fighting, but again, S twenty five can easily in a straight line fight beat the Panzer four. The difference is if he goes for you know around it, then yeah, the Panzer four can easily defeat an S twenty five because the S twenty five literally has no way to turn its gun other than turning the whole tank itself so that's the problem with it if you can uh if you can use a puma or something to go around it in circles then yeah you're fine uh luckily two vps are going to the germans putting pressure on the allies also looks like panzer force is destroying all the cover and has panzer commander so artillery is now an option which may have been called on this sector Needs to keep, spread these recalibrators apart, but the Volk squads are holding strong. T-70 in the south, but recalibrators are moving in to most likely intercept that unit. Panzer IV might get a good shot. Uh, nope, hitting some weird terrain in mid. 
You can see the bullets bouncing off it. Uh, I don't know if he was trying to hit the, the T-34, but he missed and almost... I'm oh, sorry, the T-70. Great shot with this gun, pushing back the Panzer IV. S-25 could go in for the kill, but again, has to worry about the double AT right there. Volk Squad's pulling back again. Not a lot of screen protection. Panzer IV needs to get back even quicker unless he's doing vehicle repairs, which he's not doing right now and he needs to do right now. Otherwise, the S-25 is going to go in and kill the unit. It's a big mistake on his part if he didn't get that Panzer IV out of there. Don't go forward. Just keep going back. S-25 might try to go for some shots, especially if the to reveal the Panzer IVs right there. Um, there is some mines here. Oh, wait. Is that is that Soviet mine? He's so lucky he didn't hit that Soviet mine. German Sioux managed to capture the left-hand side. Middle still. Oh, good shot. Knocked out one of the DPs. Unfortunately, shock troops come in like, nope, I'm out. Peace. Pants 4 again missing the shot. A little bit unlucky here right now. Panther being developed. Uh, not a bad idea for the S-85s. Again, the problem is those conscripts. They're really stopping any armor push with AT grenades. Also, double Katusha and a B-4. I mean... If a good Panzer IV rush comes in, maybe they can neutralize one of those units. That would probably be very, very good for them. Or maybe the Panzer Grenadier can wipe the Engineer Squad. That would be a nice, like, kill right there. If he could get it. If. Seeing that, the Engineer's like, nope, and just walk away. S-85 firing a shot. Does hit the Panzer IV. Another shot hits Panzer IV. We have a flare going off. I'm sorry. I don't think I mentioned Monty as Lightning War. So, yeah. He does. He can save him for an airstrike. He doesn't have that yet. Panzer IV going right. Uh, T-70 and possibly a harm's way. S-85 could come over. Lots of mines being set. Katusha hitting what? Oh, the MG. Yeah. They really want that MG dead. My god. Alright, does push back some infantry forces. But he will... Oh my god, did he really... Last barrage, he got it. That's unfortunate for that MG. He almost made it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of mines here. Definitely gonna need some sweepers. That or hopefully you saw every mine place, which I highly doubt. B4 is yet to fire. Mine has been cleared in that sector by the Volk squads, maybe? Again, Law of the Katusha's right there. Is there any of the roads they could take, like, back here? They could take the right... They could go back and hit him if they had... I mean, like, the problem is the Germans don't have recon. Except unless Dexterous does get himself this baby. If he gets himself the infrared searchlight, they'll have recon. But I don't think he's going to do it. I think it would be a smart idea to get it, but I don't think he's going to do it. Wow, Panzer IV just having a rough time with those shots. I mean, it does have Vet 1, but still. It's not a fighter, it's a recon. But it's not going to shoot you. Although, to be fair, it's a plane in the sky. I guess you could say it possibly could shoot us. You don't know. So right now, what are we looking at? We are looking at Panzer Grenadiers holding the left with... Oh, T-34 going around. Are we... Do we have any Panzerwerfers or... Oh, we do have a Panzerwerfer. Oh my god, is this T-34 going to go around and hit the Panzerwerfer from behind? That would be amazing if they could do that and pull that off. German's still trying to hold the VPs, though. You still have the S-85 there. Again, being very risky being so close, so close to the mines. Panther, remember, does have heat rounds. He could very quickly kill this thing if he can not be supported. And right look, right now, that S-85 is so unsupported, it's ridiculous. Heat round, stuff like that, could easily neutralize it if they all connect. Does have a heat round. Does not continue. Again, no minesweepers, nothing. Like, this, I don't know why you charged. You needed minesweepers. And it's not like he was that far off. Um, I just pointed out just because of the fact, like, again, you have this situation right now. with the Panzer force when they crippled. And that would have been the S-25 because he has, the, in the opposite side, the S-25 had no support. Here, 
Phantom 4 has no fire support, so he's gonna die. Like his pack guns on the other side of the map. We have lost a panzer. Kadushing the mortar, luckily it seems to be missing. Mortar, by the way, 15 kills. I oh my god, this mortar's been on point. This mortar is literally looking at the sky saying, come at me, bro. And, uh, yeah, no no one died. It's low in health, but no one died. Conscripts might pick it off. Definitely needs to pull it back. Where for coming on in? Is it going to be enough? Nope. Too close. Mortar does make it out. Very low on health. T-34 makes it back to base, and yeah, right now Siberian and Troid are definitely doing very well for themselves. Um, Mahdi might deploy, uh, look, he has enough fuel, he can deploy a Tiger, I don't think that's the best idea, but he could absolutely deploy that. I think he needs to get a pack gun, like he needs additional AT support, to he needs something to screen out the tank destroyer, that's what he needs. KV-1 is being produced, but he's, he can't, uh, Flay's German, he can't deploy it. At least they don't think he can deploy it. Yeah, he can't. So, he, his army size, Jesus Christ, he's literally, he, the, with the kill, with symmetry falling back, he gets it. Oh my God. He's literally, he, he can't re, was that a B4? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm Siberian is a believer in the B4, and with it, he neutralized the Panzer IV with one shot from God. So, yeah. Nice shot, Siberian. KV now coming on in. Rakai Wolfers could hold him back. Doesn't kill the T-70. Again, no kills. That's probably need to get those kills. Mine's being detected. Again, Panther diving, but... Oh, he could go for the S-25. Come on. No, don't turn away. Turn toward. Don't blitz away. You're so close. Damn it. Uh, for camera for sitting on mine on the way out. Uh, Katusha's opening fire on mid, I'm assuming. Uh, so close to getting the armor. It, again, hindsight's 2020, but yeah. That's unfortunate. T-34 not going up the gut. I don't think Mahdi has any ET. He's getting a Panther. I think it's a better choice. Because, uh, again, I don't think he can waste that much fuel on a Tiger. And besides, I think he needs something a little faster to help do with all this stuff. Especially multiple T-34s. <laughs> Tiger might not be fast enough. But they're in a predicament. They need kills immediately. Uh, you just pop a shot at the base and possibly kill something. We'll see. Again, S-85 is back up to full health. He's doing pretty well for himself. Uh, T-34 clean, cleaning out the FG on left. Another Panzer IV being made by Dextrous. Really? No, you, you don't want to go for that Serb Tiger? Just saying. No, I don't think. Look, Sturm Tiger might be great killing infantry, but unless they can make sure they hit the target, it's a bit harder to hit those, those units when you're in these types of games, because again, the players are so active. But if you are very good at micro and you can hit it, by God, it's worth it. T 34 pushing back the Pants Grandier squad. Constant. Again, good support across the board. Thank you. Web root. Uh, thank you. Don't need to see that right now. Anyway, the force is pushing on in. T-34 as well. Grenadier squad pushed back, but relatively fine. Panther now has to deal with two T-34s and SU-85. Buddy, you're good. You're not that good. Panzer 4 coming on in. S-285 hang left. Again, allies just have a good armor force choking him in. And then you have the Katusha, which I'm assuming is hitting his base, right? Yep, he's hitting the medical point. That fans were for very lucky to get hit. Good shot. 
Panther now hang left. Any pack support? I mean, he could pick up that pack. That would probably be a great idea. Alright. Lost the mortar, though. Unfortunately. A lot of really good vetted units by uh, Dextrous. Again, solid performance across the board. Same thing, though, for uh, Troy. And definitely Siberian. Alright, great work for him. At least you got a Maxim. You got something. I'll take it. Uh, Panther diving in against the T-34. One more shot, and I think it would be done, but... Can the Panther get it? Shock troops are not anti infantry but again, S-25 could keep firing, so good idea pulling back. Or sorry, not anti-armor, I should say. Jesus, did I say anti infantry I meant anti-armor. Uh, recon could go, go overhead, and then a little four Mother Russia for a good strike. Uh, where's the other Panther? Panther is heading on the right. KV-1's over there. We have some mines going down. Siberian loves those mines. He has 300 munitions. I get it. I get why he's doing that. That was a flub on my part. Oh, dude! This is the pot where you don't charge a position when you know the enemy is literally laying down mines and you're gonna lose the KV. Uh, sorry, not KV. You're gonna lose it possibly to a KV, but no. Uh, Panther is possibly gonna die here, unless the s 5 gets neutralized by the Rakan first. But obviously, he's clearing the area with conscripts first. Oh, squad gonna need to come over. Panther 4 coming on over. Again, more mines here. B4 comes in, luckily misses target. Again, it disturbs here. AT grenades being thrown, S25 getting close. For Kaiwerfers need to aim down range at where the S25 is coming from. But again, it's just a very bad position he's in. Conscripts do get pushed back. Hold on, Panther might live here. They need to push this back immediately. Unfortunately, you don't want to dive in there because is this gun and more mines. Misses target. Pants Commander is not available for this unit. Katusha, they have Katusha's rain down hell. Oh my god, can he live? KV could push in. He's still trying to get out of there. Panzer IV still there. Woke squad, maybe, st oh, nope, no, he's being hit too. S25 tried to go for his snipe. He's using extended range. Panzer IV gonna try to body block. Soviets moving in again, Faust. Going for the Faust. Double hit on the KV. Panzer IV is hit. Faust the sucker. There we go. Pull back. Oh, man. Oh, Dexterous, no. Again, he's crippled. But they don't have anything else to come in for the kill. Oh, all right. That's a kill. But if they hit the target... Not enough, needs another one. Another one's coming on in, might be able to do it here. Coming in from the side. Does kill the S-25, but I don't think it's worth a, a Panther dying. Meanwhile on left, the other Panther's barely alive. Uh, Mahdi Mod is uh, not much support. He has a lot of front line troops still. So give credit where credit's due. S-35 trying to kill the pack gun. Be like, nope, you can't pick that up anymore. T-34 coming on in. Again, still, Troid and Siberian have a good infantry force. Panzerwerfer coming on in. Gets a good hit across the board. Just no wipes. Although, very... There we go. There's a wipe. Oh, there's a wipe as well. Oops. Oops. Oh, T-70 going on in. Try no pens, but still. Oh, B-4 on the way out! Oh, my God. No escape. No escape. Katusha as well, uh, hitting the base. Multiple KV-1s are now being deployed to the field of battle. I don't think it can. I literally don't think it can deploy that, because... But he just has them on standby in case they die. Oh, he got another one because he lost some men. He's that pop cap though. T7 hang over to stop the Panzer Grandiers. Problem is right now is the fact that, again, across the board, you're dealing with just a consistent uh, domination from the Allies. They have the VPs. Like, I think they have the better infantry, honestly. Like, yes. Dexter's does have a good amount of infantry, but 
unfortunately, like, you're overall, like, you have MGs, Zis guns, you have a good amount of shock troops. Like, no matter how vetted these guys are, I just don't think they just have the firepower until I get to deal with all the Soviet forces that easily replenish and come back to the front. Luckily, our cavalry is finally hitting target. I mean, this one's bad three, but still, at least he has no kills. Trying to put some pressure on the KB. But another KB is coming up, so good luck with that one. Uh, B4 hit something. Not Oh, hit some of the troops here. D34 hitting the Grenadier squad. Werfer coming on in. Wow, wipes the MG and pushes back the conscripts. All right, Werfer's coming. I've gotten some good hits. And Rakai Werfer's might be able to kill T-34. Again, good wipes. You need wipes. Unfortunately, I think the Katusha might wipe them. All right, they're going to run right into it. We'll see. Panzer IV diving. He's done. Wait. Panther dived as well, looks like. Trying to go for the Katusha. Got the T-34. Oh, Katusha didn't die. He did lose all of his armor, though, for that Panther push on the left. B4 does miss target, but I think it was just enough damage in the guards. Enough fire support. Panzer 4 trying to back on up. Sturvix right coming in to clear the infantry. Werfer's right there. It's the worry. Armor's gone for Dexter's, though. He can easily, you know, he's fine on manpower. He's 1,500. Jesus. Body uh, opposite approach. Funnel grenade? No. Siberian, again, just mass deploying KV-1s. We have the armor for days. And Troid has uh, lost his S-85 and T-34, but he still has Katusha's. It was a good push on left, but just wasn't enough. Now the Germans are down to 77 points. They still need to do some things. Oh, good shot with the B4. Both AT guns need to pull back. KV-1 is now free to push. Also, Conscript Squad might be able to pick one off. Let's see. Nope, not able to. While suppressing, you have the firepower. Good shot with the Conscript Squad, just causing havoc behind the lines. Werfer, I think, pushes back the Conscript Squad. MG pushes back the forces up north. C-34 moving on in. KV-1 just hauling down, being like, all right, we're just gonna lock this sucker down. What are you gonna do about it? And yeah, good shots across the board. Volk squad barely makes it out. T-70 still alive, 28 kills. Gotta give it up to that little, little guy. Where's the B-4 coming down on? It's left, isn't it? Another great shot. With Katusha as well, providing fire support in the region. 11 and 12 kills respectively, so B4 keeping pace. Great shot with the, uh, with the Katusha. One of the AT guns is done. I think the KV is just going to start pulling up. This is literally attack of the KVs. Just hauling down, why not? And yeah, that's a GG, I would say. Detroit's T-34 is moving on up. Katusha's still, again, great volley right over there. Panzergradiers, unfortunately, not able to cut it with the shock troops there. Werfer coming at close range does kill the guard troops, but it, even with that loss right there, it's uh, not enough. The AT grenade probably would have, uh, and Gonskir probably would have killed that. Maybe the KB-1 as well, moving on in. Really great game right there. Solid work. But let's double check the after action report and see how things look. So let's see. Overall, we are looking at damage comparatively for Siberian to be in the lead. But kill-wise, Troid's in the lead. I'm going to guess that was his conscripts, actually, because he had a good, solid... 34 kills for his conscripts. Like, overall, 58 kills total. Like, his conscripts did pretty damn well. Um, although, again, Katusha did a part of that. 
um, as well. But still, they only got 12 kills respectively. The infantry did better than the rocket artillery before someone says rocket artillery's OP. Siberian still got a good kill count, though. Again, uh, both were negative overall, but still, good, get, uh, good round. Mahi definitely got way more kills than Dexterous. Dexterous, I think, had better, which is surprising, because you would assume, based on the amount of infantry that he has, that Dexterous was the infantry killer. But no, Mahdi was the one. 27 kills. Again, the Mortar did pretty well. The Warfare got 28. Like, he overall got a decent amount of infantry kills. Uh, again, I, I wasn't wrong with that. Like, Dexterous had a good army. He just wasn't getting those kills. Um, he did get a good amount of damage, but Dexterous was right there. I'm assuming your Catwoofers were the main key thing here. And then, of course, his Panther um, and Panthers were stuff... Uh, we're doing the most damage and uh, Panthers and Panzer four. Sorry. We're doing the most damage there But no, um, I l let's tr let's risk it risk it for the biscuit uh, 104 damage with the Grand Deers. Yeah, they were on point so Yeah, 12,000 damage. Okay Which I guess yeah, if you're being such good infantry killers and yeah, they would do a lot more damage But no, that's gonna be it. That's a three nothing for Troy Siberian, which will move on so congrats to them. Good luck. Good job. And again, those B4 kills, solid B4 kills, killing and hurting Panthers, Panzer IVs, just across the board, really great shots. And again, they're pretty for, uh, from a uh, pretty far back position as well. So I can confirm and say Siberian does believe in the B4. But uh, let's switch on over. All right, before you guys go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, Joey G240, Malam, Afria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb, Fall of Man, 7943, Some Tool, and Net Kuba. Thank you all for your incredible support. You guys rock. This has been Grayshot17, and I'll see all of you next time.